Josh, as some of you know me. Thank you for tuning in for the Storians. Uh, this week, an interesting episode. One of our old school guests and my longtime friend Spencer Lynn has come on the podcast to promote his new album, Vesica Pisces, with the band The Odious, out June 21st. I am very lucky as I have gotten to listen to the entirety of this progressive death metal band's third album, or I guess second long play album uh, and it is truly a wonder from everything to the Vesica Pisces suite uh, Glowjaw, Haster the Shepherd Gun and Vesica Pisces exploring intricate and new musical motifs to the punishing nature of heavy rhetoric uh, mis- uh, misalignment and misuse and the uh, intrinsic haunting beauty of both the track I'll be playing for you today and uh, the song The Fix This album has a little something for everyone. Uh, Spencer goes into a little more detail about where you can find and pre-order this album, but we're very excited to get to help uh, promote the song. Uh, The song that we'll be listening to a clip of today is Mono no Aware, which is a Japanese word about a concept, a concept of the awareness of impermanence. The song explores how that can feel bleak, but also how that can draw you into, well living your day-to-day life in the best way you possibly can. I think it's a truly beautiful song and one of my favorites off of the album. So without further ado for the historians, enjoy this clip of Mono no Awa. Welcome to For This Story, the only podcast that learns its oral sex techniques from the dogs in John Wick 3. That's right, a lot of teeth. I'm Ash. <laughs> and I'm Avery, and Jesus goddamn Christ. Told you you wouldn't like it. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, you were totally right. <laughs> but, uh, hey, uh, we have a special guest this week on For The Story. We got Spencer Lynn from The Odious here with us in and, the studio. Uh, it's Disgusting he, uh, Universe, his podcast. Hell yeah. yeah exactly. What's up, what's up, guys? Uh, not too much. Spencer, why don't, why don't you... Oh, my goodness. See, I already can't talk. <laughs> see, see, I drink one glass of red wine and I'm, f- oh, I'm fucked the for the night. entire episode. What I say about bartenders, Avery, is they have no <laughs> alcohol tolerance and... <laughs> <laughs> what, they say things about bartenders? Oh, yeah. You don't even know, man. We say all kinds of things about... This no one talks about them. About them. <laughs> no one even really acknowledges them as humans. <laughs> Wait, who? <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> who? Um, so, Spencer, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, your your various projects we have going on here before we get into uh, some stuff we've watched for the week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, man, so I've got um, The Odious, which that's my band. And, you know, we've uh, been not a band for quite some time 
<laughs> and now we're a thing again, and uh, we're releasing a new album, and I'm stoked about that. We've been releasing singles and whatnot, so that's going to come out in June. What's it uh, called? June 21st. It's called Vesica Pisces. That's a silly we, name. Is that Latin? It, whoa. It's uh, yeah. It's it's a little bit Latin, um, and it I think it directly translates to the, a fish's bladder, <laughs> 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 which I found out well after <laughs> naming. That's... The album that, but it's also like. But a, it sounds so it sounds cool. So cool, man. Honestly, it, you should go for the English translation. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Turn the metal world on his head. Yeah, have you yeah. heard that new uh, album? What's it? Fish's Bladder? I think it's Fish's. Called? Yeah. <laughs> Brutal. Damn, dude. Those guys are fucking cryptic. Um, what does that mean? Yeah. Um, and I've also I also do a podcast called Idiots Discuss the Universe. And that's just a silly goose time on on that one. Well, sometimes it gets weird and serious, but but um, a lot of yeah. times it's just goofing around. Actually, you know? Spencer so. found his biological father on an episode of uh, Idiots Discuss the Universe. You better download all the episodes so you can find out which episode that is. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to give that away. It was a long search, and um, I'm happy to say... A long episode. Yeah. It, yeah, it was, you recorded it was a plane long... ride. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was actually groundbreaking podcasting, you know, with gritty and... The, the only 36 hour podcast yeah. it's incredible yeah you hear me talking to the concierge at the hotel <laughs> crying because uh, your credit card got declined <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm, on something embarrassing yeah, i have like a meltdown in the lobby <laughs> and then that's when my dad comes in and he finds me and i'm you know then he changes my diaper <laughs> So, um, definitely check that out. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to look through their yeah, catalog for that one. That's definitely some, some keep that deep digging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a good it's a good time. So, um, yeah, thanks for having me on, you guys. I'm stoked to do this. Yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. of course. We definitely have a lot of memories of us yeah. seeing movies and and talking oh, about them. Absolutely. You, yeah, you just, Asher and I would get real baked and uh, watch it. Good and really, really bad movies. Yeah, that was Spencer very fun. That's what we like. Yeah, here. We watched Barely <laughs> Lethal together for the first. That's that was my right, first. dude. I'll never forget. <laughs> That's like our our like our like uh, podcast favorite movie. I think <laughs> yes. so far. I'm pretty sure that's that's like our favorite one we've talked about. We still have jokes that like are far reaching <laughs> deep into, the, into like more Dude, recent it episodes. Is so, it's great. It is like that is is a, a subgenre of movie that is you know when it's so bad. I think it's better than like The Room, you know, but it's in that like same sort of trajectory where it's like so terrible. You're like, "Wait, are these is this like actually the best movie I've ever seen?" I think, <laughs> I think what's so funny about that movie is that like on the surface level if you turn your brain off, it all makes sense. But right. when you start looking at it realistically, it's all very bizarre. Oh, yeah. And like nothing seems to fit. Well, I mean, Topher Grace I think I like that. in his photo game. Yeah, yeah, Topher Grace and his oh, mustache yeah. Oh <laughs> my god, movie. it's all coming back to me, dude. <laughs> it's so oh, strange. Shit. Yeah, it, it's oh, um yeah. it's a it's a weird like, one. Like why? I don't know why, yeah. but I'm glad. <laughs> um that being said, we all saw something completely different this week. Yeah. Yeah. We all saw John Wick Part 3. I think three. you're wrong about that. I know I, we actually watched an extended cut <laughs> that I uh, personally edited together of just four and a half hours of the uh, disco scene from Matrix 3. <laughs> wow or, oh my God. you guys watched that right it's like you were really there <laughs> uh, yes yeah 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 no that that that's what we watched right i mean that's yeah. uh yeah definitely a lot of uh yeah some matrix stuff going on here i i, I have like i didn't get any of a that. pro and a con for me so <laughs> we're gonna talk about that as the episode moves forward um but we did we saw john wick Part three. What's it called? What's the uh, subtitle? John Wick Chapter Three. Parallelum. Oh, uh, it's X. Parallelum. Me, it's Parabellum. Uh, oh, like a parabola. Oh, oh right? so yeah, yeah. Portobello. And then it arcs and then John Wick Chapter Three. <laughs> Portobello. <laughs> That's why it's like there's a part where they said the name of the movie. <laughs> yeah. The thing. Yeah. Oh and yeah, I, they literally say Parabellum. Yeah, yeah. Looked yeah. in the camera and like yeah. winked. <laughs> And wait and, and smile. I, I just did like the cringy. I I went to see with my friend Jeremy. Uh, Asher knows Jeremy, and um, I was like, they said the name of the movie. 
Jeremy. <laughs> but I like whispered it really loud so like other people could hear it. And I could just like it Jeremy just like fucking cringed. He didn't even laugh. He was just like, shut the fuck up, dude. But it, it, it made really me love, laugh. You're, you're keeping up that bit we talked about doing where you were like my special brother and I take you out to the bar and wingman you <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I said, I said he said the name, he said it. Yeah, no, that, great that job, Spencer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, yay. Um, I don't know why I have to be the special one every time. You know, well, like, I, feel, you know. I feel like we could swap. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I feel like we. It's could because trade of your off. protruding brow ridge. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I can't help if I'm a little Cro-Mag, dude. If I'm just rocking a little bit of the Cro-Mag brow, you know. I think that's in right now, actually. Yeah, so. I've seen the haircuts. <laughs> um. <laughs> Wait, what, what hair? <laughs> we, uh, we also watched other movies this week. Um, so as our guest, uh, Spencer, would you like to tell us a little bit about some movies that you saw this week and whether or not you'd recommend them? Dude, I saw... The latest Baywatch movie oh, with The Rock. <laughs> with I, Dwayne, Dwayne The Rock Johnson Dwayne, Johnson, correct? Dude, can we all agree that Dwayne is a <laughs> fucked up name? <laughs> Do, like, and that, like, he's been paring his name down for decades. He should just be going by Dwayne at Dwayne, this point, right? It sounds like <laughs> you said Wayne, but you are, are like, you know, got hit by a car yeah. at some point in like your life. Like a Crow Magnum. Yeah. And now you're just, now you can only say Dwayne. <laughs> anyway, um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's him and Terry Crews. Like Terry is not a a human name. Terry Crews is not in the one I saw. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, Dude. like, he, it's kind of similar to Dwayne. Oh, oh, oh as oh, a comparison. Oh. I was yeah. like, that guy didn't look anything like <laughs> Terry Crews. I was like, that I, it, that's not racist, is it? <laughs> no, no, I mean, no, they both not. have dumb first names. That's all I'm okay. trying to say. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. So uh, so Baywatch, though, yeah, with starring, starring Dwayne. Who else was in that? I think it was like Zac Efron, dude, right? Zac Efron was Some in other. it, a.k.a. Ted Bundy. He gets like pigeonholed into all these like like kind of mid-tier yeah. to lower-tier comedy films. Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, and this, this one, it was, I honestly was pleasantly surprised because clearly Clearly, I was going into the new Baywatch with like, okay, like I'm ready to just fucking lampoon this, you know, like yeah, of course um, you can, but it was like yeah, you gotta have a yeah, keep your humor, yeah, yeah. right. Um, but it was very self-referential and kind of like and funny. And um, there's like this, there's like the kind of chubby guy who uh, tries out for Baywatch. But the joke is he's got a huge <laughs> dong. <laughs> and he, get, he gets it stuck in various things. And um, that's just great. That's you know? a relatable and character. That's horrible. <laughs> No, it was good, man. Um, it was good in like a like, ah, oh man, it's it's hard to explain because like, you know, there's those movies that like this movie was trying to be a good movie, you know, but it sucks. <laughs> Baywatch, it, yeah. they were like, no, we're not going to try to make a good it's movie. It's going to be like, bad and they're going to nuke it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah. They, they, they nuked it, but um, they were like, I mean, no one's going to take this seriously, you know, so they kind of leaned into it and um yeah, it was a bunch of lifeguards solving crimes. You know, like I think I think when when uh, when uh, d- directors and producers lean into the fact that they know that their movie's gonna be really dumb, it always turns out better. Like if they if it's self referential, if it understands what it is, it always turns out coming on uh, like maybe not always, but I mean like it occasionally comes out on the opposite end i feel like you know, that's yeah. Yeah. Like, eh, well, a yeah. lot of movies we've seen <laughs> yeah, that, it's definitely a gamble it's definitely a creative gamble to go down that route yeah. but yeah it can pay yeah. off you know um, it's just like it almost sometimes it ends up being like depressing when they take themselves so seriously like detective pikachu i think was a great example oh, of movie. the film yeah oh, yeah like what? yeah all the pokemon had human should have known no <laughs> Yeah, it was it's bad. Some of the creative like design, that, dude. misguided. Oh, it's always something yeah. like very unfortunate. Like, oh, you could have, you could have pulled it, it off. It just takes. It. Oh my god! Like nobody told them in pre-screenings. Like this makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, like yeah. it was uncomfortable. Like nobody was discomfortable. They maybe like leaving seven percent of all shots, but those seven percent like haunted you for all the other <laughs> shots. Damn. Yeah. 
Yeah, they they were really hit or miss because there was some stuff that looked like you know like hey cool all right I remember this like this looks like how I pictured it in my head as a as a kid, but then there were some like shots where it was just like oh my god that's no that's just disgusting <laughs> like <laughs> I'm just uncomfortable. Yeah, that's how like it goes. Institution yeah. sticky. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, it was like a sticky. sticky. Yeah, it was something. No, oh, man. But, hey. Yeah, that that whole thing disturbs me. We're getting really deep into the uh, like kind of uncanny valley territory with a lot of this CGI that's going on like with the uh with Will Smith as the genie. You oh, know, we haunting. talk a lot about Will Smith genie. On this. <laughs> yeah. almost, he's yeah. almost a guest host at this point. Yeah. Yeah, 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 he should be. <laughs> you guys need like a soundboard <laughs> with him on it. But, um, oh my God! Excellent. Uh, yeah, yeah Bay, it's, Baywatch. What are, do you guys watch? Any um, anything good? Anything great? I watched. Oh my I God! A couple things. Uh, I watched uh, Life After Beth, uh, <laughs> which is a film with Aubrey Plaza, John C. Riley, uh, the lead guy from Chronicle, um, about how a uh, guy's girlfriend dies and then she comes back, but she's a zombie, and. Uh, <laughs> But she's like really <laughs> creepy and like just like she she's just trying to fuck him a lot for like the first maybe hour and 15 of the hour and a half movie. And then wait, she, wait, 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 wait. She's not trying to eat his brains. She's no, she's just to like, like she's just like kind of pale and like likes her attic a lot. Like <laughs> that's how oh. they decided to characterize their zombies. And then something has to happen. Uh, so she so goes just crazy. Aubrey Plaza. <laughs> yeah. So it's just mm-hmm. Aubrey Plaza <laughs> playing Aubrey Plaza. Only slightly more pale. Um, so that okay. was actually everyone hates it on Rotten Tomatoes, but I thought it was really fun. Uh, OK. I saw The Village, which I'd never seen before. That is a very inter- entertaining first 20 minutes of a movie. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Best 20 minutes of a movie. Yeah. Like, if you're talking about openers, it's it's so intriguing, uh, isn't yeah. it? Like, it, it starts off so strong. It could have been so good. It could have been. It but then been, M. Night Shyamalan, yeah. like, potential. ran out of his juju, like, halfway, like, right. 20 minutes into the movie. Um, yeah. It's almost like you can see where his career was going to take a turn for the worst in that movie. Yeah. It's like midway through, you're like, oh, man. You can see the moment. It, like, took me, like, <laughs> way too long to it. figure out that that girl was blind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah she should have been playing that up more <laughs> she should have been tripping over shit and stuff yeah she like she like sprinted like in what seemed like a like a tactical course that they make you do to like get into the seals or something like yeah. at one point in the movie and i'm like how Forgot is she about that. and she's blind as soon as she sits down it's like she's blind okay right she's feeling around for like the plate on the table or whatever yeah um and then That's i'm been a while. gonna recommend and a podcast if you haven't listened to it yet punch up the jam punch up the jam is a great podcast they they take a, a song analyze it lyric by lyric and then rewrite the song with a punch up i just listened to their paramore misery uh whatever what's the name of that song misery business punch up where they they yeah. do a misery yep. business cover that is the plot of the film misery uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it's fantastic oh my god I don't. Excellent. I gotta be in the right mood for that. <laughs> Plus, I have a I mean, big crush on uh, one of the hosts, so that helps. Oh, oh. The, the, the truth <laughs> comes out. The songs. <laughs> <laughs> I love music. Yeah. Uh, Avery does. So I so I watch some stuff too. Yeah, yeah. I have um. I, I I'm a big fan of the the shutter hole, as I like to call it. I go deep. Excuse deep me. Deep into the dark <laughs> recesses of Shutter. Right? Have you ever heard? Of, <laughs> have you ever heard of Shutter? Because it's excellent. It's a, it's a, it's like Netflix, but it's all okay. horror movies. Yes, I have heard yeah. of that. And there's some terrible stuff on there. Oh some, man, some terrible, terrible Just stuff. Depraved. I watch a a really really good movie. I, I watch two. Okay, like that I can that come to mind at least at this time. Uh, the first one that I watched was a uh, Reanimator, which is something that I'm revisiting. Uh, really fucking good. I watched it like years and years ago. It has uh, some some dude in it. I can't remember. He's only been in Reanimator movies, but uh, really really gross out like kind of practical effects came out in the 80s, so everything was like really fun and visual in that Based way. On, uh, HP Lovecraft. Um, but also cheap. Yeah, oh, it, it is. is. Yeah, I was it's an HP Lovecraft. It was. Yeah, oh, cool. And uh, and that's a that's a super exciting, fun movie. That's on Shutter. Also, I watched a movie on the opposite end of the spectrum, of a movie that was not as good <laughs> uh, because Sh- Sh- Shutter does uh does produce their uh, their own films, or at least they do this thing where it's like Shutter exclusive or Shutter original. <laughs> but oftentimes they're in other languages, so I have a feeling that they just like they have somebody who's buying them up. Um, I don't really know exactly what's yeah, going Netflix on there, is but doing um, the same thing where it's like a weird yeah. amount of Asian horror movies. 
movies are popping up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, Asian horror is actually pretty oh, yeah. goddamn no, cool. There's, South there's Korean, some really good man. Asian horror. South Korean horror. Oh my movies. god, Fuck. have you seen a uh, Train to Busan? Because that no. movie is really fucking cool. If you haven't, no. I'm, I'm um, honestly afraid to watch a lot of South Korean horror stuff because I'm just like, dude, you guys it's scary. You they, take they're way they're, too far. Like you know, yeah. it, Asian horror is really like it's totally different from American horror, which is all about like haunted houses and dumb shit right. like that. Um, but and slashers, which are stupid but so entertaining oh, yeah. to me. Um, speaking of slashers, I watched a movie called The Ranger. It's a Shutter exclusive. Eh. It's kind of like Snowpiercer, <laughs> right? I would say like. And, and nothing like Snowpiercer. Avery I can't even like Snowpiercer the farthest like a things. dozen times. Snow, Snowpiercer. Yeah, it's a sex movie. It's uh. It does sound like I was gonna. It's I not. It's kind of like. It's kind of like Train to Busan. Actually, no. It's a. It's a movie with Chris Evans. He's on a train, and then they, they like. Uh, I don't know. It's like a they they rush to the. Have front you not seen this movie bad. that you've referenced like twelve times? <laughs> I, I I've seen it. I swear to God, <laughs> he's, he's it's been, good. He's like lying about it's kind of a synopsis he just gave me is what I got from seeing the photo cover of the film. <laughs> on a train, <laughs> exactly. And, you know. it's, it's not that much different <laughs> <laughs> from the photo yeah. cover. Wow. Yeah, that's riveting. So there you go. I also recommend Snowpiercer. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a real shutter. There you go. Real, taking a real shut over everybody. Oh, that's bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, we can, we can edit that out, time. right? We can edit that. We'll I've bleep been, it dude, out. I, I've just been, <laughs> I've just been sitting around like the past five minutes trying to think of like a shutter based pun, and that was the best one that I. <laughs> and that was up with. So, yeah. um, <laughs> you know, that's great. That's my contribution. Keep your shutters um, open. Yeah, none of them are fine. good. All right, yeah. I'm, I'm working the content. Spencer and I are yeah. brilliant and funny, and it's, it's the word you shutter promise. is fault. Yeah, it is. It is. Well, I just I, I just want it to be shit. Yeah, like I'm trying to replace. Oh, it with shit. that's what you were doing. Yeah, t- take a shut. You take a shut all over it. Every but take a big old shutter. Um, you can so stop. What else you guys? Want? <laughs> what else uh, you guys got uh, got going on today? You uh, you watch the blade. Well, we uh. We talk about stuff that we watched recently. Mm-hmm. We're also going to talk about a movie that we watched much more recently. Uh, speaking of John Wick, Part Three, Parabellum. Um, we we like to uh, just yeah, Portobello, mm. um, Greasy, Cerebellum. That part of your brain. Yeah, that mm. is Avery. I don't know. I'll, I'll show <laughs> um, you this <laughs> <laughs> it's not part of my. So so we always like to uh, to talk about our expectations going into the theater just a little are gonna, bit. Are we going to break down um, the budget? Oh yeah, we are going to break down the budget. Yeah, let's break down some budgets. Okay. Let's do that. Let's right. do it. We're breaking down walls. We're breaking down budgets. Insert <laughs> bad song barrier. here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so John Wick has only been out since May 17th, which is three days prior to our recording of this episode, and has brought in a total of $93.3 million in its opening. Damn. Wow. It was the number That's one impressive. film of the weekend, the first film that has taken down Avengers Endgame, which is now at the 27 or Two point seven billion billion dollar mark closing. Oh, take that! Slow. I like that metric there. That's good. Let's keep that metric Slowly, going through the summer. Almost gonna catch Avatar. We're gonna see. Um, well, but in terms of R rated openings, John Wick uh, has landed at number seventeen domestically. Uh, and now I'm gonna hmm. quiz you guys. What do you think are the sixteen films, R rated films, that might be ahead of John Wick Part Three? Portobello. Oh my God! Uh, I got one right here. Deadpool probably was above it, oh, right? Yeah. One and two. That's Deadpool one and two. Our number yeah. one yeah. and two. I want to say like yeah, Get I Out. Had a feeling was Get, Get out, out in there? Ooh, Get Out was was that was R? PG thirteen, but you uh, are in the right uh, realm. That was a close. Yeah, what was the one? Yeah. What was the one that just came was out? Was it Us? us. Came, yes, Us is number us, one. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, other other. What R about that new? Oh, that might have been PG thirteen too. The 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 remake of the uh, the slasher film with uh, fucking not Judy Dench, but fucking Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> oh, a Halloween. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was Halloween up there? It was. It, I know it made not, a lot of money. It is a slasher Jason film. Oh, actually, no, it is. What am I talking about? It's number ten. Sorry about. Oh, that. cool. Oh, Sick. excellent. Cool. Yes. 
Um, yeah, I was like, oh don't, my God. Fuck, don't fuck with me on that one. Yeah, this is a shot in the dark, and you know what? I, I can't, I, I don't know. Again, shot in the dark. Is Die Hard on there? I feel like Die Hard has to be up in there oh, like somewhere. It is, is that rated R? I don't think it's is rated Die, R. I think, I thought it he was. He says fuck. He says, he does say fuck, and that's what I'm thinking. But you get, you get one fuck, right? I think you get one. I mean, no, like maybe you do. I've gotten, I've gotten one before. Who decreed that? What, what a bizarre! Are we talking about yeah, you, <laughs> you, the King of England decreed that. You get one fuck <laughs> per R rating, or no PG thirteen rating? I don't know. You get three shits. What is this? Uh, let's you see. use them. No, sparingly. Die Hard's R. It's not in no, there. I'm surprised. I thought that movie made more money. Um, oh well. All right. It's been out a while. Let's see if I can give you guys any hints. Um, Stephen King. Oh, it. Oh, Carrie? It, it. Or not? It. Oh, it. it yeah. Um, okay. It for sure. Yeah. Spencer, you saw this war movie uh, with your dad one time and told me about it, and you liked it, but couldn't tell me anything else about it. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's really that specific. That's so specific. Um,. <laughs> Uh, you have to get it. I have no it, idea. Was it, letters, <laughs> was it letters from Iwo Jima? <laughs> it would have been so was... good if you had guessed this one right off the bat. American Sniper. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was a forgettable <laughs> one. Yeah, that... like, looking back at it, like I don't even blame you. I'm not sure it was a movie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, that happened. Jesus movie. <laughs> oh, The Passion yeah. of the Christ. A uh, fucking movie. Yeah. Oh, a uh, bond, bondage nights? fucking movie. <laughs> oh, uh, fuck oh, yikes. pile two. <laughs> the fucking. Um, wow, can't believe that was in the top 18. <laughs> uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? That's yeah. in there? That's Dude, there's a bunch of horny ass milfs <laughs> really? out there. I guess so. <laughs> can you imagine that theater? Yikes. I and, can. Uh, oh, yikes. <laughs> what's the one, uh, Avery, what's the one good impression I can do? Um,. I did I it on an episode. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone having a, an allergic reaction. <laughs> I'm not even going to try that. That's so... <laughs> you did... I know you did two impressions of two different people that sounded exactly the same <laughs> oh, on yeah. one episode. Yeah. Spencer, have you not... Uh, ask me to do an impression real quick. Uh, okay, do an impression. No, uh, right give now. me a, the person... <laughs> Like, oh, um, <laughs> that was pretty cryptic. <laughs> uh, do Obama? All right. Oh, uh, okay. I actually have one. Uh, it's Obama, but he's a Scientologist. Uh, let me go clear. Thank you. Like it. <laughs> All right. I think you need more words in there for me to get a real sense of uh of your Obama. <laughs> All right, I'm, uh, I'm confused of what this impression is. This Tom Cruise? <laughs> no, it's Tom it's, Cruise it's doing an impression of Barack <laughs> it's Obama, Obama, but he's a Scientologist. Uh, so let me so go your clear. impression is anybody but they're a Scientologist, <laughs> and you just say, "Let me go clear." <laughs> no, because Obama, the easy one to get into the voices. Uh, let me be clear. Uh, so uh, I just went. Uh, let me go clear. All right, mm, I've given I'm, up on this. Bit. I'm fucking confused. <laughs> it's okay. Dude. I'm just confused. Uh, well, uh, Asher, I think that that was a fair shot. Uh, <laughs> give give me another one, goddamn! I'll show you how. <laughs> that's that's I'll pretty show good. You such a good, that's a pretty good impression. impression. Give me another person. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do um, get crazy. Do uh, get crazy. Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah. Do fucking tra do Tracy Morgan, dude. Oh, Wait, that's you a good cut one. Out, he has a very distinctive way of talking, out, too. So, he said Tracy oh, Morgan. Tracy Morgan. Okay. Uh, hey, this is uh, Tracy Morgan. Uh, <laughs> you, <laughs> <a bitch. laughs> you, you sick son of a... So is the bit, it's like an impression of you doing an impression <laughs> and it's just... How about throwing a little beach party for yourself and letting these people to get to know you oh so better? 
Hey kids, it's me, your good friend Alistair, here to tell you about a wonderful movie podcast called Get Soft with Dr. Snuggles. What happens is, every two weeks, the love of my life, Siobhan, and I are joined by a cast of friends, family, internet weirdos, and special guests to guide you through the wild and woolly world of erotic thrillers and softcore films. Everything from alien abduction, intimate secrets, to Zarita, Passions Avenger, and all points in between. Check it out now on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Is that horrid man talking about? To that old town road. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. Do we have to restart oh, again? <laughs> no, no, we don't. Should we, we, that's that's going going the <laughs> that'll be the marking. Yeah, that's definitely going in. Um, yeah, so we also talk about our expectations going into this mm. movie. Uh, guys, mm. I know you had some. Sure. Um, I think I, th- I know Ash. Uh, you know, I'm I, honestly Ash. I'm most I'm most interested in what you have. Uh, what your expectations were, especially having not seen any of the other yeah, movies. Yeah, so we're in a unique situation where each of us has seen a different quantity of these movies. Avery's seen the first and third. I believe Spencer's seen all three, and I've seen <laughs> none of them except for this one. See, this no, I, I, I thought I saw the first two, but now I think I just <laughs> now I think I just watched the first one twice. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, you saw the third, so it's like the second one, from what I've gathered, you can kind of just extrapolate. You know? It's like you can kind of just connect some dots. So if you see the first one, he's there now. Yeah, Yeah, right? Like, this time, this time he's got to fill in the the blanks there. And the the Russians killed the hamster. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, going into this movie, I was excited. Uh, I knew that there was an NBA star in it, and that made me the most excited. Uh, I got a gift certificate from one of my clients for a movie theater um, for $25. I was like, fuck yeah, that's like almost two movies. I go to this theater, and uh, the movie, it's a matinee, it's noon, and it was $20. Because uh, LA is what? that's a such shit. Upon that's like Jesus, all dude. humanity. That's like the most I've ever heard. I I I can't believe that your ticket was that much yeah, money. Yeah, but it, the seat laid down like all oh. the way. Did you get yeah. a fucking but was hand it job worth, too? Was it was worth twenty dollars, <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, I mean, not intentionally, uh, but there was like, a hole in like, the, uh-huh. the table that was I'm thinking like. <laughs> <laughs> like of a circumstance, like I'm trying to th- think where I would spend twenty dollars on a movie ticket. That's mm. that's a lot of money for a movie Easy. ticket. And like you, tickets aren't expensive at, or aren't cheap check anymore. It out. I'm gonna pitch it to you. you. Know? I'm gonna ch- pitch it to you. All right, you're on a massage table with one of those little face holes, right? And then like sixty feet below you, just a dead drop. There's a screen, <laughs> right? And you're getting a fucking <laughs> massage. There's like someone who's probably ninety pounds, four foot seven at the tallest, walking up and down your back as you're enjoying a <laughs> Is this like one of those 4D experiences? Yeah. They like they right? like kick like, you whenever the genie does something funny. <laughs> They're like, are you laughing? <laughs> and they also they also have you on like a morphine drip, so you're just feeling you're just feeling really good. Yeah, That's worth twenty go. bucks. Here we go. Now you're feeling good. I'll just take the bag. I don't need the movie. <laughs> oh shit! I hear the cops, man. Bam. Oh no! They heard <laughs> Here they come. They, 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 about they heard about it too. Spencer, we don't joke oh, about shit. drugs on the show. Yeah, Asher's got <laughs> priors, so, <you> know. <laughs> so we can't be joking around with that kind of stuff. Okay. Dude, my PO is listening. But, anyway, uh, <laughs> watching this movie, uh, I, I, the thing that got me really excited uh, while I was waiting for the movie to start was the Hobbs and Shaw commercial. Dude, I've seen like the Hobbs and Shaw commercial. Dude, I haven't seen the any of these page. trailers. Because they go to fucking Samoa <laughs> and, like, do the haka. 
Dude, and they all just had and they're fighting spears Idris and Elba. shit, dude. I was like, hey, yeah, is that... it's like, this is it's awesome. It's awesome, but is that racist? I don't know. It's like... I think that at this point in The Rock's career, if this is the first time Samoa's really coming up, I <laughs> yeah, think we're okay. I guess so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, they still they still would fight with spears. That's totally true. <laughs> It's called right. Tradition, Spencer, yeah. and uh, we have a whole song about oh, it yeah. people. It's like, boom, boom, ka, boom, boom, ka, fuck your tradition, bitch. Oh, oh, shit. We're oh. thinking of two different songs. <laughs> 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 no, that police. was the same song. <laughs> oh, man. I, uh, I loved that commercial. Um, it was like, and now introducing White Girl A. <laughs> They're like... Oh, she's like, oh, look, I can do karate too. They're like, yeah, you, you sure, sure you can. Yeah, <laughs> you can. She has. Also, she also has Jason Statham's voice, so I didn't want to clarify. Yeah, it does. Because <laughs> they're related in the movie. Wait, what? Oh, Did you not no, pick that up? no, I don't think I was Man. paying that close uh-huh. attention to the the plot. I'm ready for it <laughs> the though. Rock, the rock. Uh, <laughs> Pulls a Chris Hemsworth or Chris Evans and curls a, a helicopter. Yeah, like okay, sure, fuck it, you know. <laughs> Already yeah. been done. Don't Just, care. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Uh, I, I guess if if The Rock and Jason Statham, you know what it is that movie. You know what it is. It's the um, it's the rise. It's the first tr- rise in the trend of the bald man. Yeah, oh, yeah, the bald yeah. man is gonna be super. Yeah, they're, oh, they're gonna both be super hot too, aren't they? And in and like sleek, hairless men are gonna be. They're gonna rule the world, but not in a weird you way. Think that's you gonna know? be the thing. You think <laughs> it starts with Hobbs and Shaw? I think Shaw. we'll be able to trace it back <laughs> to Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> I think. Yeah, I, th- I think we already did. Dude, can't stop when this. I saw the title, <laughs> when the title hit the screen, I was like, wait. <laughs> What? Is this <laughs> Calvin and Hobbs? Hobbs and it Shaw, It kind of sounds dude. like... Dude. <laughs> you know, I, I keep getting Hobbs and Shaw confused with that Sherlock Holmes movie that oh, came yeah. out with Will Ferrell like and John and, C. Riley. Yeah. It's like Holmes yeah. and Watson, <laughs> but it yeah. sounds like the same title. a terrible title. <laughs> way to name a movie, yeah. you know? That's... Yeah, well, they couldn't yeah, be like it's not very good. the Fast and Furious movie that doesn't have Paul right. Walker. That's a bad title. <laughs> yeah, but I still think it's better. It's but better that's what Hobbs they're going for. The Fast and Furious movie we could sign yeah. lead actors for. Yeah. These are the ones we could get. That's the and subtitle. It's Elba, who's like, and <laughs> he's like fighting these fucking roided out fucking freaks, and you're supposed to fucking believe that he's winning. Yeah. Like, absolutely kill yeah. me. <laughs> like, The Rock has so much testosterone that he has helped small villages in Southeast Asia, like, get over malnutrition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, just by standing so there. Test- yeah. <laughs> they worship him like he has guy. so much testosterone. He's They're just absorbing like, him. He just is like, fuck it, I'm sucking dicks now. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much testosterone. <laughs> it's like I don't. He's gone fully over the edge and doubled yeah, exactly, back around dude. on himself. Well, that's just <laughs> flexibility training. That has nothing to do with testosterone. Take, take a rib or two out, too. Uh, but yeah, I just I think Hobbs and oh, Shaw excellent. like that sounds like a weird like German word like Shaw and Freud, <laughs> right? It sounds like a German yeah. beer brewery mm. that's been around since like yeah. 892. Yeah. Hops and Shaw. Right? Oh, yes. Hops and Shaw. Uh, Hops and yeah. Shaw, yes. <laughs> we have to find the schnitzel seat. I would be your, sh- your scheisse Frau. <laughs> that's your splatter Frau. Hops, I, I, I hate to say this, but I am feeling a little bit of Schadenfreude. It's terrible. It's, it's all terrible. terrible. <laughs> So I didn't see any of those trailers. I haven't seen this trailer Did you yet. See anything? Good? I don't know why it didn't what? come up. No, I didn't. Oh, add the nothing. Hit one. I don't know what it was. I don't know. Maybe maybe I went to the wrong theater, or I just There's forgot. Theater in your <laughs> it could be one of the two things. It trailer. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. That looked. Oh, that looked great. Oh, I haven't you seen that shafted. either. What the hell? Yeah, Alamo Draft what kind of House theaters are you guys like, going to? Is a nice theater, but they have I actually, shit trailers, bro. Come at I me. actually didn't go to Alamo Draft House this there time. There are so that might be. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking too. 
I was like, shit. All right. Well, regardless. Uh, no, I didn't see any real good. <laughs> like, what are we talking? Yeah, did you see it in a Chinese restaurant? So. <laughs> 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 um, now, nah, man, going into this movie, I, I, I wanted it to. One thing that I always take away from these John Wick movies is how well lit they are. So I was just like, man, I just want to see some color, mm. colorful action. Yeah. That's what I was getting ready for. Mm-hmm. Just colorful shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bullets flying and people dying. There you go. Boom, dude. That's what I wanted. You had you had you yeah. had very I think I got it, expectations. Right? I would say <laughs> Yeah, Avery. From from this kind of movie, I think that yeah, I was setting absolutely. myself up for success, if anything else. Yeah. Okay, um, what was one scene that you but, were expecting? Um oh man. Oh, oh the uh the dog scene. With all the dogs because of the poster. There was a dog in the poster? Right? There was dogs in the poster, so there's going to be a dog mm. fighting scene with Halle Berry, who, by the way, isn't a cat anymore. She's a dog person oh my now. God, Halle Berry. There you go. <laughs> it was like Dude, delivered was, on a silver platter. Drink. Here you are. I would take a shot of, of her. Okay. <laughs> Leap him. I would take a shot of her <laughs> sweat every morning. And yeah, that's it. Just like a shot to the dam. Just, <laughs> wow. I'm going to eat popcorn <laughs> so you continue. And, but Go only on. if it was like <laughs> ass crack sweat. <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's been great okay. having you on. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so guys, uh, what, what are some good things that we can discuss regarding this movie? Because there's a lot of good to talk about here. Um, personally, well, let's, I, 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 you know, <laughs> got let's very, talk about how John points. Wick, you know, successfully beat up all of the different races. <laughs> <laughs> Covered no everything. Stone no turn. stone. Actually, unturned. I don't think he, he, be- did he didn't beat up any black people. So. No, and no Irish people. But that's, unfortunately, we're that's a, not a, a race, strong dude. Anti-Irish. That's not they're a saving race. that for the yeah, sequel. Yeah, they're, they're gonna get a, into a fight in the pub, and it's gonna be with all like shattered pint glasses and shit. <laughs> they got that. Oh my god! That, right? Actually, I can picture it, and yeah. I kind of wish that was in this I one. Want, but like a four I can way, wait. Like Welsh, yeah. Scottish, <laughs> Irish, and, and English. Well, yeah, I want like a bagpipe fight. <laughs> That he's caught in the middle of because everybody wants right. to kill John Wick. Imagine in this movie, John right? Wick fighting in the middle of Scottish games, of the Highland games. Like he's dodging like the giant fucking log and like like <laughs> someone throws a haggis at him. This is all completely yeah, like I could visualize all of it. Like John Wick was like going to his grandma's house and his grandma wanted mm-hmm. to kill him. John Wick was going to like I don't know. He was like going to the post office and the yeah. mailman wanted to kill him. I Everybody wanted to kill him in this movie. Not at all. It was nonstop. He couldn't. And I, not for a half a second. He was like Tom Cruise. As soon as he started he to relax. And like I was movie. appreciating how they were yeah. like, you know what? We're going to give you some sort of like kind of a plot like with this high table shit. But I was like, wait, what? The high table? And it's like. It was a little like, convoluted. Yeah, they're, you know, they're a, they're a place, <laughs> yeah. they're, a, they're a shady organization, and they they run a series of hotels. and With, like, weird, With like, yeah. weird, like they, they use, like, pieces of eight, and... Yeah. yeah, yeah. It seemed like a almost, like, suspiciously infinite, infinitely reaching organization that, like, just kind of was able to alter yeah. the rules of the script. Yeah, it was a metaphor for to be American there all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, maybe oh. I don't want to try. To <laughs> yeah, <point. laughs> I don't know. But, I mean, I, yeah, it was uh, it was something. It was definitely just your classic shady Illuminati kind of uh, situation, you know. Yeah, right. Yeah, Illuminati's great, and it has all this like semi unexplained like pieces right. of currency. See, I just thought that that was something that they explained in the sequel, but I could be wrong. So I was just like, eh, well, I'll roll with it. He's got all this currency, Wait, and he talk- trades it for favors. It's yeah, like, it's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, that, that was you know, pretty convenient. So. Um, a, and this this movie does a really really good job of being like like existing in its own world and really doesn't need any expl- explanation because all of the the like background story stuff is almost kind of boring anyway. You're kind of just waiting for the next well mm-hmm. choreographed action scene. It's a nice little like it's, it's a breather. Like, like you want it for yeah, a couple minutes, but then you're like. All right, like mm-hmm. have a horse yeah. kick a dude yeah. in the head and the noise is way <laughs> yeah. too loud. Thank yeah. you. And then you cut to a scene of Winona Ryder 2 explaining something Wait, to wow. some people. 
She she looked you know the girl with the Dude, short hair. She looks like, like Winona Ryder. She looks exactly like my friend's ex girlfriend. It was really creepy and Whoa. we were like what the fuck dude that's yeah. that could just be her like no are, are i'm not sure, sure that's not just her? asia kate dylan oh, is that her name from orange is the new black oh. billions her name's oh, asia really? oh are you sure she doesn't do porn? I, I had never seen that actress in anything else it seemed like they put a lot of focus on her too so i was like yeah is this a name yeah, she doesn't like fight is, anyone. is she somebody oh, i don't she, know she, she she's gonna anyone. fight someone she doesn't fight a single time you know they s- yeah for sure i was you know i was expecting like the 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 threequel like you know end of movie wrap up and uh if we're gonna spoil things i don't think we ever really give warnings because i think we spoil <laughs> everything we on this fucking show hate yeah, our fuck listeners. you yes hey yeah hey, it's, Spencer, it's getting worse and worse we're liking that. you less and less <laughs> uh, <laughs> um but uh yeah she doesn't find anybody and this movie sets itself up for a four quill which actually has nice. already been confirmed mm-hmm. um so yeah so that's definitely happening this is gonna be one of those series that i think just kind of goes on forever which i'm I'm so can we okay talk about how yeah. they just like phone yeah. in they just slapped in that intro sequence you you remember that? Oh, dude, it was, it was so like, bad. Wait, the, yeah, it was just Kyle. like <laughs> yeah. John Wick Three, like the yeah, fucking like parabellum and shit. And, and yeah. then it was like it went right into yeah. it. Yeah, it was so lame. But it was like was so it weird. was so weird, but it's like <laughs> also kind of like fitting, just because they're like, we know you don't give a shit. We're getting right to John Wick. Like, Did you get, running from yeah. something? Like they they dropped it right in. They didn't have an opening scene. They didn't do any of that. You know what it reminded me of? Did you guys see uh, the the most recent Mission Impossible no, movie? No. Uh, this is another comparison right. level, uh, but very similar in that way because it had the cheesiest opener with like just uh, like horrible like like scenes from yeah. the the movie oh, like fading in like it was so bad it looked like something from they're the trying early to do 90s. like a James Bond terrible. sort of and that's thing. what this reminded you know, like me of the, that. the classic James Bonds yeah, I think so too and it's just like no nah. there's there's like a Bond vacuum right now oh for yeah sure. Like Casino Royale was great, and then the other two yeah. were not mm-hmm. great. Especially they were okay. Quantum of Solace, which is hot garbage, it was pretty bad. And then the third one, uh, what was it called? It was Sky called Skyrim Fox. or some shit. Oh, yeah, <laughs> uh, th- that one was pretty okay. And like I feel like that one was like better executed than Quantum of Solace, and kind of took me by surprise. But then there was another one that came out Wait, just recently really? that was like, was? yikes. Yeah, what? Yeah, it was like two years ago, something Avery, like that. That's a, what was it that's called? A fever dream yeah. you had. <laughs> there's, no, oh my God. there's no way that really. Happened. I got what was it called? Like Spectrum or oh, something? Spectre. Oh, Spectrum right, Internet, dude. Oh, Spectre. Yeah. Oh, Spectre. Yeah. <laughs> like how you picked like the, the least word. <laughs> yeah, Spectrum, and he fights a, a horde of autistic. <laughs> Uh, and never mind. I'm not going to finish that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, that's no. Oh, man. Can we also talk? Yeah, Jean, I like. Yeah, yeah. Can we scared. also talk <laughs> about how so, 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 the, the, the Japanese guys were like sushi chefs? <laughs> and they were awesome. They, they were awesome. Like, okay. Right? Number one. They were like my favorite part of this I movie. That, like, <laughs> this movie's like all references to how these people don't have fucking careers anymore. Uh, I know. And also mm-hmm. references to The Matrix. Yeah. I don't know that, if you guys noticed. That's what I was thinking. Because yeah. Lawrence, <laughs> Lawrence Fishburne being in this movie is literally just a reference well, I mean, to The Matrix. Mark Dacascos right? um, was the guy who was the lead like the, the, yeah. the bald guy and he was the iron chef he was what the, the i thought the i recognized him what are you yeah. serious yeah yeah dude, dude he was I cool too him. he was like one of my favorite I parts of this movie dude, it's, yeah okay. he was like awesome I, I half liked him so here's here's my my thing his whole weird tete-a-tete uh-huh. with john wick and like his weird like they developed it like in the last 20 minutes <laughs> yeah. of the movie. It would have been really awesome if he had it the whole time. I don't care. In a movie that that like kind of lets the plot take a backseat and front loads the well choreographed action, mm-hmm. fine with me. I, That's all the characterization I needed for me to enjoy just that couple, character. A couple throwaway you know? lines here and there. Because like the first half he's like, I'm a badass. And then the next half's like, oh my God, it's John yeah. Wick. I thought that was fucking awesome. It's like that that like cut of levity, just like especially when like given the the scenery and the context, like they're in a neutral zone, like that that totally just added another layer to it, and it made like this movie even more meta than it already is, which I always yeah. kind of really enjoy. 
So I, I yeah, was definitely into that. It was, it was that. good. It was a good um, uh, twist. A little um, another ball. Yeah, guy. what's up with that? You know, Hobbs and Shaw are going to change. We that. we all know that there's going to be a resurgence yeah. of the bald man. We've we already do. discussed this. <laughs> I just I just really hate to see bald on bald crime uh, in our films. <laughs> yeah, but bald on bald <laughs> love is. <laughs> just, just some, some sensual yeah. head rubbing. Oh boy, I make myself uncomfortable oh, sometimes. It's one of the deleted scenes. Um, but yeah, so um, but okay. Uh, what was what was uh, what was? Oh yeah, there was um, some parts in it. And I think this was actually during when they were starting to like give Keanu some lines towards the end of the movie. Which, Which was, was a mistake, mistake. <laughs> but it was funny because he was just yeah. like, he just doesn't give a shit, man. They, he, he could, he, they had, no, he doesn't. yeah, they would set him up he for these doesn't. like, okay, you can at least say something like halfway witty, like, like, you're not going to meet me at the top, Keanu or whatever, John Wick. And he's like, yeah, yeah. I and will. he was like. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> yeah. But that's like his thing. I feel like that's like it Keanu's is. shtick at this play- point. Like he he doesn't act. But but what is so cool about Keanu and the reason that I really appreciate him being in this movie is just like guy does his own stunts. It's just like everything about that guy. I just he's like a goddamn Absolutely. national treasure. Like it, Absolutely. It, it's just like heartwarming see, seeing him in like this kind of role after years of not being in like his own like franchise mm-hmm. that he could own. You know what I mean? And seeing him in this, it's just like cool, man. Like yeah. you made it. Like no, this don't is your get thing me wrong. Now. I'm not. You know? I'm not hating on is Keanu. It? I'm loving how he is just Definitely owning not. the just like he's kind of like a weird. Uh, he's like a Zen monk type of a character, you know. Which I think he's. Yeah, he like doesn't wear yeah. closed-toed shoes and like does nice things for <laughs> right. old people. Like, what or a whatever. fucking weirdo, you know? Yeah. Also a deleted scene. Yeah. <laughs> He's helping, like, gets off his motorcycle to help a lady cross the street, and the ninjas watch. What do you guys think was the coolest does. kill in the movie? Yeah, the knife fight scene. Mm-hmm. I thought, I thought the book, I thought the Where, book with the, the throwing very, knives, the very first one. Oh, like, the damn! Book was he fucking killed rad. him with okay, a book. I, that was such a good opener. I uh, yeah, that was fucking yeah, cool. I, yo, read it. <laughs> yo, knowledge yes. is power. I'm just gonna say. Yo, yo books, <laughs> yeah. kids. Yo, actually, we are a very anti book. Books podcast. are cool, dude. Uh, we actually, <laughs> we actually don't know are. How to read. <laughs> <laughs> you actually could. You, I like pictures. Right. You couldn't. Welcome you couldn't the show. And then, and I'm fine. <laughs> that was a. Uh, that, that that the guy who got killed with the book was an NBA center and has the largest. Oh, hands I wondered in the world what right his deal was. I'm like, is this dude CGI? <laughs> yeah, he like, was huge. He, he, yeah. He's seven, <laughs> oh seven foot two, and the world record for largest hands. Jesus, dude, and he's a That's fucking freak. excellent. And they just brought him in because they're like, you're yeah, in LA. That was upsetting, man. <laughs> That, it was but it was good like and the kill was good everything looked awesome this it's it's another good example because uh, i don't know throughout this movie i noticed it like very infrequent but tastefully used mm. cgi mm. you guys know what i'm talking about here like there were there were there were sequences that had cgi in them mm. Um, but it, it wasn't so distracting from the film that it was. Like, Halle Berry was more distracting Good from Lord. the film than the CGI was. Yeah, in she this looked movie. like a That's, video game rendering yeah. of Halle Berry. Yeah, <laughs> she looked she absurd. Did. Like she's like she just totally out of place. Something. It's very hard to take her seriously. Yeah. That's like my perfect so, age. I will say, I I I know that you probably didn't like it, but I really liked all the dog stunts. They were fucking tight. Yeah, they were sweet, dude. <laughs> I was wondering how much of that dude, was CGI. Though, I thought that know. they were pretty cool too. Like especially that one where it like runs up, jumps and grabs up the wall. It's nuts, yeah, Halle Berry's dude. back yeah. up the wall. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the most obvious one. There's probably a couple other scenes. I don't know. I kind of just it was part of like that. It was real yeah. Avery, and I really need you to stop. <laughs> it's just just it's let him just let him awesome. live in his, his comfy little <laughs> world. But the canine techniques were really sweet, where they were just grabbing the the, the arms and just pulling people down because like they trained. Yeah, a lot of that. a. A lot of see, I I went into this movie thinking also that the dogs thing, like that whole dog fighting Halle Berry thing, was going to be a more important part to the movie. But she's in the movie for like six minutes and then yeah. not in the movie anymore. God. Yeah, I mean, like obviously, granted, not having. <laughs> I really didn't, but from from like a writing perspective, that seems like an odd choice. It it was like what like I don't know. 
having somebody come in just to be like, you owe me, bitch, and then like leave is like just so bizarre and like, like completely by that logic, forget like, it i they just needed variation yep. like they needed the horse to kick someone in the face they needed yep. the dogs oh, yeah. with like another gunman yep, yep. and then they need yeah. the hotel scene where he's just like well i need more guns yeah, like, hey that's from the matrix <laughs> guns <laughs> lots of guns yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if there's one thing that this movie did really well, it was the escalation of the the action scenes and it was the variation of yeah. that escalation. Like they were, they were constantly no action scene was the same and all of them were equally well choreographed and well done, which was a lot of fun. Except for all of the henchmen being pretty much disposable. Best video game I ever played, John Wick oh, 3, yeah. Parabellum. 10 out of 10. Just say. Perfect. Perfect. 10, 10 out of 10. Get it on PlayStation yeah. 4. Uh, yeah. I would play Best that in PS4 a heartbeat. game I've ever played. So. Yeah. Yeah, I would too, right? Like This could this totally could have been a video Asher, game. Are you had the eating? same plot. They could have Asher, rendered Keanu in. Right what? I'm just enjoying the conversation. You fucking... Wait, wait, what kind of dog and pony show it has, has crunching on it? I... Listen, and Avery keeps me in a small cage for majority of the week. I kind yeah, of sounds like you should go back to, to that cage. My life. Sounds like you need to you need to be spending. <laughs> well, I have to well, right after this episode. I feel like so. you guys can get some sort of boom mic situation set up so where you can record from inside the cage where you belong. <laughs> 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 I was actually hoping we could get a super cardioid mic so we could get audio of Asher oh. chewing even louder. Uh, I mean, like, we don't have <laughs> yeah. to do that. Yeah. No, I, I, that... God damn it, dude. This, no, this is This is heinous. This is heinous. No. This is a crime against podcast listeners. That's what that is. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I finished the podcast. Good. Good for you, dude. Um, so... All right, so I think that's a good break since we're talking about cons, not only of the podcast, <laughs> but of Avery, of always John the Wick. killer segues. <laughs> of, of John Wick 3. Um, what didn't we like about this movie? Uh, I have scant cons about this movie. I actually really enjoyed it, even though I know action movies aren't really my thing, but I, I'm, I'm having a difficult time digging up reasons to dislike this movie. So I kind of want you guys to start so I can build off of it. Uh, anyway, uh, Spencer, um, you're first. <laughs> okay, well, man, it's hard because, like I, like you, I, I think I went in with well-managed expectations, which I think is always the key to, like, you know, enjoying a film, whether or not it's technically good or bad. It's just like, yeah, I'm just going to go in and have a, have a good old time. And uh, so I didn't really find a lot that was... Um, bad about it you know but i yeah the same but, but the thing is i did <laughs> yeah. after a while like all of the punching sounds and gunshot sounds started to turn into like a general white noise that almost like did kind of make me a, li a little sleepy towards the end like once I'm you know a little nausea yeah. 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 yeah and <laughs> i mean i yeah. wouldn't have survived if i was full laying down like let's just say that like i i was yeah i'd say it's about 90 percent you're yeah. just like just yeah. barely up. can you imagine dude no he had he had 80 clips right and he was just dragging and dropping that's that was that guy's oh, job dude. he probably made like a like a million dollars just to drag and drop punch dude, sound effect oh 54 <laughs> i mean imagine right? the foley artist he spent like 20 minutes making all yeah. the sound effects yeah. for this movie. Yeah, he was using like a bag of potato chips or something like that. <laughs> or, or, just a or a bowl of popcorn. Of you guys' podcast. <laughs> it's a fun fact. I actually, um, back, back in the day, I, uh, I did an old Foley artist trick where I was like pretending like I, I wasn't really into it and I needed to stretch mid-podcast and then I broke celery into the mic and started oh. screaming. <laughs> Like I broke my leg. Oh, that actually sounded incredible. I remember that, listening that to that episode really and being like, "What the fuck, dude? <laughs> what the fuck happened?" It, it did. sounded really good because the celery sounds like a breaking yeah, it sounded bone. Like you it's got incredible. Straight up, like straight murdered up. by a ninja <laughs> or something. Like just immediately, man. Yeah, we gotta try that again. Um, but anyway, yeah, cons. I don't know. Like I just, uh, I, I. I 
I thought that towards the end, it was clear that, like, you know, it was going to be hard to keep ramping up the crazy fights. And, like, it, it, they were trying to get, like, some famous martial artists in there towards the end, if from what I understand. And that was supposed to kind of carry it into a new realm of interest, you know. And But as someone who's not, like, an MMA dude or whatever, it's like that kind of went over my head. And I was just like... Yeah, yeah don't look at his affliction he, shirt. Hey... I don't actually. I just like the designs, dude. It's my friends, it's my dude. Friends. I just wear. I don't. I just wear because I like the cool flames and stuff. But yeah, so I don't know. Towards the end, I was just like, oh, okay, like okay. And I think they kind of got that, and then they're like, all right, no, yeah, he survives. And yeah, he gets. He falls off a building, but you know, yeah, fuck it, fuck it. <laughs> Somehow he's, he's not gonna die. He's not gonna die. Yeah. Like he can't die. He falls. No, a CGI model of Keanu. No, dude, that was a real stunt, dude. CGI. That was a real fast stunt. <laughs> yeah. He, oh yeah. You know, he just wore a helmet, dude. <laughs> you know, the, the comical scene where he falls off. He hits like an outcrop. Then he hits like a, a fire escape. Then he hits like a yeah. bag of potatoes. And, like, the and then Benny like Hill a fucking song starts playing. Yeah, he just breaks falling forever with his face. On the concrete, <laughs> would have just splattered anybody. Yeah, he's fine. He's dude. fine. He's fine. He's John Wick. But he that's a what I like. Suit. Would you have respected okay. it more if it ended with him just fucking just, like, just splattering on the pavement? Oh my right! Just making it all yeah. the way to the very end, dude, and then he's just murdered. Just like Wouldn't that, that would like that would incredible. have been so shocking? Yeah. But then they couldn't have made a four and a five right. and a six and a seven and an eight. I mean, Endgame happened. So. <laughs> they kind of did yeah, that at right. the end of that movie. It's like John Wick in so. cyberspace. We've uploaded his consciousness to the cloud. Oh my god, it's just gonna keep going forever. <laughs> and then it's gonna be John Bishop. Wick in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Then it's just the Matrix again. Like, it all comes full circle. And oh, my God. Lawrence gonna... Fishburne got cut the fuck up, dude. Like, I mean... Yeah, he he was murdered and then just, came back like, to life. Like, it was an R-rated movie, but they were still like, yeah, let's do this scene and, like, have the camera 50 feet yeah. away from him so you can't actually yeah. see anything. See him die. Exactly. Well, he, well it, it, they they neglected to show the uh, the part where he straps ketchup packets to his neck. Yeah. So you mm. could get that effect Absolutely. of the, the blood. Yeah, exactly. That was all part of the thing. <laughs> if you watch the deleted scenes of the yeah, director's classic. cut, you guys will understand. Uh, trick of the trick. <laughs> so I have kind of a nitpicky con. Um, when uh, the hotel's being invaded, it's like, okay, so this is, he knows that the high table are like on some real shit, right? And he knows that they're attacking the hotel. So him and the Haitian man from, from Heroes, that's the name of the character. <laughs> His name is the Haitian man and the in Heroes. Um, I thought he's from Lost. What? Yeah. <laughs> no, he's he might <laughs> okay. be from both. Uh, his I, real name is is Lance Reddick. <laughs> um, but that oh, sounds sure like from a video the Wire. Game character. I'm yeah, I think he's from, from the this Wire guy. and like Oz. I think yeah, he's in Oz. Oz? Oh, he was in the Wire and oh, Lost. Oh shit, dude. Oh, oh, okay. I reckon I know who you're talking about. Al. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, he was badass in this movie. He was badass, I like this guy. but then he like gives like yeah. bullet exposition for like oh, three yeah. minutes, and then yeah, that was too much. Somehow that was for all the people who go watch this movie yeah. who are like really into guns. And they, they, yeah, if they that, were like, really into real guns, quick. they would have noticed yeah. that Keanu's elbow wasn't tucked on some shots. But um, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, they would have noticed that nobody ever runs out of ammunition. Yeah, like, like, everybody I, I has was infinite counting. bullets. Mine. I was counting, and it's it was like ridiculous. really random amounts. They were like shooting shotguns, just like yeah. willy nilly. It was insane. But, but like, the, yeah. the issue, fun, the, but insane. The issue I had was they had this army coming in, and they're like, "Let's strap up with a couple of pistolas, <laughs> yeah. my guy." Uh, yeah, <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, it didn't work yeah. against them, and we needed yeah. bigger guns." Yeah. Like, yeah, of course. I did. I did like the the notion it was like when you get to an, a higher level or like the last level in a video game and they have mm. higher armor uh -huh. and you have to shoot them a whole bunch with the pistol yeah again john wick best yeah. video game i've ever played yeah. like it's so much fun there was like even a first person shooter shot i think during this scene it was yeah. so great uh, i don't know I, th I thought that shit was like yeah, fast paced it was and fun. Fun. it's like yeah. one of those movies so, where it, the second you start yeah. like thinking about it it's like gonna fall apart you know so it's like you just, oh, just yeah, don't totally. think yeah. just don't Fury think Road. about it too hard. And uh It was a lot like Fury Road. Wait, what's Fury Actually, Road again? You compared that to me earlier. 
Uh, yeah, the, new uh, Mad Max. Uh, the, oh, yeah. the newest Mad Max. And what's her face? It had mm. very similar pacing, not as good character development. Not necessarily for Mad Max. Everybody knows his character is kind of a background, kind of. He's supposed to be the mm. eyes you're watching the movie through, but all the tertiary characters. But similarly, uh, similar fast paced action with the long shots and like, like it, the longer like takes. The, the, the action just kind of runs together. It almost seems like the action is one line and then like the plot is another line that's like very short by comparison mm-hmm. yeah. yeah that's actually kind of a con for me it was like almost like the the exposition sequences all almost yeah. felt like a different movie like it was really like kind of far removed because it was these like static shots that looked really out of place in comparison to the like much more smooth and fluid uh camera movements of the action scenes that looked mm. really really great so, yeah, I would agree. It yeah. definitely felt like two movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It was weird. But that's such a, that's also, that's such a nitpicky con. I mean, like, for the most part, this movie's just really yeah. well executed. It's and just fun. like a ton it's of fun. It's a fun old time. You really yeah, get, like, I, I, my heart was yeah. beating through some of the, the especially oh, that man. knife fight scene in yeah. the hallway. That was high octane. It was fucking shit. awesome. It's just and, so, and like when it went into an yeah, eye, it just dude, kept going. the part where you get the knife in the eye, oh my I was like, God. when are they going to cut? When are they going to cut? What a good transition. Oh, and they don't. Yeah, I, know, they right? just straight. I was like, oh my God, they're going to cut. And it keeps going. It's like, it's wow. My least this movie's thing is the any eye, eye the gore. Eye yeah, any eye shot. gore is really fucked. It's no, just not it's, okay. It's messed Honestly, up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty it's, sure. it's an assault. It should, and I am so they glad they took that risk. Because I thought I was that like, was oh, fucking shit, awesome. They're not fucking around at all with this movie. I don't know what to expect now with these fight scenes. No. And then I'm going to like, you know. Yeah. I really. Exactly. Right. It almost did. like elevated the stakes. It's just like we're getting to the point where yeah. there's eye gore. You know, it's it like, man, shit's going to get mm-hmm. kind of fucking real here. You know, who knows? our hero yeah. might be in trouble now. You know, so. Really elevated those stakes, which I thought was fun. Mm. Well, John Wick's pretty much invincible, even though he gets stabbed at the beginning of the movie and has yeah. to get stitches one he time. Got, he, gets, <laughs> he got stabbed a few times, <laughs> if I remember correctly. Yeah, he got stabbed a lot. He like he gets stabbed at one point, like pulls the dagger out of his arm and then mm-hmm. stabs somebody. I else appreciated with it. that. You know, it's like at it's least he's cool, can man. be like hurt. You know, there's some times where they just get their clothes ripped or whatever. You know. Yeah, and they're like, I don't know, he's used ten percent of my power. You like, made oh, me man, use ten percent of my power. <laughs> what <laughs> exactly? It's just like invincible heroes are are fun. Are fun yeah. for like cartoony movies. Avery, the Avengers you, are great you, for invincible heroes. Can you please just give me a, a little anime guy back? A little <laughs> You mean like <laughs> <laughs> You're fun. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to start trying. What? Is, what are you guys doing right now? <laughs> We're doing like what is this? <laughs> one, one liners you know from anime characters, with... like when they're yeah. fighting. Oh, Can okay. You, like, like, like when they go like, like <laughs> you maybe use ten percent of my power. <laughs> like, huh, you thought you could defeat me? <laughs> that was that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It was just like what? it's all bad shit. It was. It was just a test. Uh, 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 or, or what about... Uh, uh, that was my first kiss. Or what about the classic one where they just sit like kind of stuttering for no reason? Like... Uh, 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 uh. That's a yeah. such a Dragon Ball Z thing. And then Piccolo's like... Uh, yeah. uh, just breathing really uh, hard. Uh, yeah. It's... Uh, Listen, I may love you, but today you are my enemy. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> Just what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't sweat in years. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I think you have a. I think you have all a. Right, these are all problem. <laughs> you, Not when I drink water, dude. Come on. <laughs> you have a glandular. Um. So I mean, like, guys, I think that about sums it up. At least on my end, I, mean, I can't think of any other negatives to this movie. Maybe that, like, okay. So I want to say this because I'm, I'm, I, I want to be the asshole here who says it. There was some definite dog owner oh, pandering yeah. here. Not that that's a bad thing, but like I saw it and then, you know, I, Ash and I were actually talking about this a little bit before okay. Spence, you got into the chat, but it could also be that I'm conflating Halle Berry's bad acting with the dog pandering, turning it into one bad thing when it doesn't necessarily need to be. Because she a dog. Whoa, no, man, I, dude. <laughs> How <yikes>. dare you? <laughs> 
How dare you? Wow. That's I'm also sick. a con to this movie. I thought Halle Berry <laughs> delivered a riveting yeah, performance. And that uh, Spencer, she I brought... Just, whatever. Spencer... She, she, I see her only as Catwoman. No, she only no, just she brought, she brought in still. the anger that only a, a 55-year-old woman could bring to a, to a role like that, you know? How old is she? Dog. She's not fifty five. Avery, just be Dog. nice to Spencer. He thinks she's good because of because of, of the action. Dude, she's she, not. She 55. is fifty fucking five. Something like that. Look, no look it up. <laughs> oh my god, Dude, she's okay. fifty two. Right? She she's fifty two. You were really close. I mean, wow, she doesn't look like she's fifty five. That's Opinion what I'm completely saying. Changed. Price is right. All right. Rules. Halle Berry is a pro saying, to this movie. Dude. Damn, That's she looks I'm good saying, for 52. Dude. She looks incredible. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, she brought some of that. Uh, I thought she brought some nice rage. I believed her rage. And I was like, and I thought that this movie was just like, you know, it, it seemed out of place, her acting in this movie. I'll, get, I'll grant you that. Absolutely. Yeah, it seemed it out of place. But yeah. it was like, well, yeah, because you're, you know, you're, you're acting with the you know, human uh, mirror that is Keanu Reeves or whatever you want to call him. Like <laughs> he, he kind of acts like yeah, Orlando. Right. Like I feel yeah, like he's he, like yeah, he's just yeah, he's yeah, very yeah. kind of lumpy. Yeah, he's, <laughs> what, what was the thing I said earlier? He always looks like he's like been on Molly for thirty six hours with a little bit of <laughs> yeah, he's, he's kind of sweaty. Yeah, he, he's, he's got, got a little bit of coke. Blow, but, uh, man, it's just like I know Keanu's not a good actor. Like I get it. But it's just, I appreciate, I just yeah. love that guy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, we should say. I see him and like, I'm like, I'm yeah. so happy for you, man. Like, like uh, I don't know what it is. Objectively, it's like, his delivery of every line was <laughs> awful, but, like, it was really enjoyable. That's why he had six yeah. lines in the whole movie. It's like, I'm pissed off. He's like, uh, what was yeah, no, we're no, not. We're not. <laughs> and why did they, why did they have it. to brand him twice in the movie? Like why was? Who cares? <laughs> He's John fucking oh, they, Wick. Who gives did, a fuck? They did, didn't they? I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, they branded him twice. It's like, look, have you already run out of stuff? Man, he is just—he's so badass. Oh, I don't even give a shit. Like you know, when did I miss that? Was I in the? He they got, got branded the second time. I must have missed that. They they seared the yeah, wound. They branded it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just, see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I I was I would consider Ooh, that a cauterization. Interesting. I wouldn't That's consider true. that a second branding. I guess you could call that a brand. I don't know. I feel like there's a distinction it between this is really splitting hairs, of obviously. But I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. Know. some it's, hot metal play. Yeah. Okay, it all falls oh. under that umbrella. <laughs> we can leave it at that as a con. That's fine. <laughs> File that in the cons. Yeah, section. too much hot metal play for my taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. All right, guys. Uh, I you know I, I really want to get into our final segment of the uh, the show here. Avery is Not two that hours I... ahead of us, Spencer. Oh shit! Dude. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. No, it's okay. It's okay because I, I wanted to be here. I wanted to talk about a good movie. Uh, it was great having oh, you on thanks, the show, man. obviously, thanks Spencer. For me. Um, it's been been a great. Yeah, of oh course. God, just kiss as you know. Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's a new segment. It's a new segment called <laughs> Hot. Anyway, um, <laughs> it's in corner it's called Twink. So uh, so Spencer, yeah. as you as you know, um, uh, we 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 like to finish off the show with a little bit of a a brief like summation of of the movie that we saw yes. and your impression of it. We give it a rating out of ten, and we also apply five words that we feel like describes this film most accurately or not accurately at all. Actually, doesn't even need to be five words apparently anymore. So <laughs> just just hit us with, okay. with words. Just do it. Just give us a sentence. I uh, guess. Well, I I did come up with a string of five words that stood out to me the most. Um, it would be greasy, all right. sushi. Hallie <laughs> knife play. Oh, excellent. Oh, can you can you say that like it's, it's better than poetry? greasy. <laughs> greasy sushi. Hallie knife play. <laughs> oh, we both started snapping. <laughs> wow. We're so wow. fucking wow. lame, dude. Wow. <laughs> Wow, beautiful. Dude, I'm getting late Thank right you. now. I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you. Thank you, Spencer, for uh, that excellent yeah, yeah. performance. Thank um, you. And wow. as far as an, out of 10, you know, I give it a, a solid 7.8. Yeah. Nice. Like a, almost nice. Eight. Yeah. I agree completely. Yeah. yeah. That's that 7.8. You're really mathematically uh, you, it's fine. It is almost 8. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's really that's like super yeah. close to being an eight. Totally fair. So you know, um, and it's and it's so honestly it's it's not a. That's seven. about eighty percent of the way between seven and eight. Yeah, well, just I mean, there. I mean, that's a little that's just a little there. complicated. Um, for me to understand, <laughs> Spencer is standing in front of a, a whiteboard with just like hours of, of math <laughs> equations. <laughs> you know that meme where it's like the lady's face and it's just like all the math equation. He's just like seven point <laughs> eight. I don't know if I know that. <laughs> the wizen buyer, his, or, uh, his face. Um, yeah, excellent, <laughs> totally. Uh, how, how do you feel? Would you recommend yeah, this? Absolutely, movie, Spencer. I would recommend it to pretty much any. I know this is maybe kind of sexist, but like any dude, I feel like, and uh, yeah, Bro. it's a kind. It's I mean, a dude on. movie. It's a it's a it's bit a of a movie. dude movie, and I mean, I think girls would like it. Like, I I think my girlfriend would like it, but yeah, my girlfriend really liked it. She saw it today, and she was like, <laughs> yeah. "Fuck hell yeah, yeah!" But yeah, yeah, so it's it's one of those movies that only if you have external genitals, yeah, can you really, that's really like, the only because the the yeah. understand. I think is the the yeah. word you're going for here. Yeah. I just think you know, there's not there's not a lot in the way of like you know, um, like shitty emotion, um, <laughs> um, you know. So it's like I don't think women are gonna like, dig it that much. You know what I mean? I just I just don't you know. I was thinking about this movie and I was thinking about women. And I was yeah, like, I, don't think I think they're, they're just like it. like I just think uh, they're the too like, stupid points. in general. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, I don't know why I'm speaking to a judge. I didn't say anything in this conversation. I frankly am asking for a yeah. mistrial. No, Asher told me to say that. I was just reading off a quote. <laughs> I actually sent him a manifesto yeah. about it. Yeah, no, um, no, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I just know like my mom would fucking hate this movie, you know? Oh, yeah, my mom yeah. too. Fair enough. My mom probably would sure, actually. There's, my there's mom some moms like out there that would like it. it. My mom likes yeah. some cool action movies. Yeah, my, my mom liked The okay. Matrix a lot, so I cool. think she would probably like this too. They, they kind of go hand in hand. There's like, yeah, 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 I think yeah. you guys know what I mean. Yeah, I think I got. I think right. I see the connection but, uh, between the two. Yeah, yeah. There's some. There's, there's, there's something link about there. the two that it's, I think it's are slight. similar. There's just something I can't. Yeah. It's an ineffable quality. I just can't put it together. It's there. Yeah, but it's the green. There you go. <laughs> yeah oh shit yeah you're right it's the green no really i was gonna say it's the um it's the uh tight leather oh yeah uh, i was gonna say it's like the buildings also that yeah the buildings yeah for sure. actually the buildings too know. yeah this is this all takes place in a very oppressive does, seeming yeah. city yeah like the matrix does at times I think it was actually that's a good observation. I like oh, that. Sure. All jokes aside, cool. <laughs> um, sometimes I surprise yeah. myself. Hell yeah! You know? Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> um, Asher. Yeah. Um, so I can continue to think about my five words. What are five words that you have regarding John Wick Part Three? The the what is it? Part Three Portobello, Portobello, Portobello Poblano. What? Papa Piss <laughs> what <is your> plucked <laughs> plenty of <laughs> No Not Papa yeah. Piss <laughs> and John, John Wick Part 3 the, my dreams. the partitioned hard drive What do you think? Uh, y'all are gonna feel like a bunch of idiots when you hear my five words Check it oh, out Oh Christ <laughs> Whoa, I know Kung Fu Oh, shit. oh no <laughs> Wait let me count really quick uh, Whoa, I know Kung Fu <laughs> well, Dude Kung Fu is Kung one Kung word Fu. You bitch I mean, knife play could no, be... No, 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 no. Hyphenated words can be stretched. Again, I said, these are very my, nebulous my, rules. My co-host from IDTU <laughs> just looked over at me and just shook his head and was like, no, it's two words. <laughs> he was just... <laughs> yes! You're not supposed to sell me down the river like that. <laughs> Chalk one up, dude. I mean, I listen to your show. Craig Free. <laughs> yeah, he sends me down, down the river <laughs> all the time. <laughs> um, this movie was uh, was super fun. Uh, it was a lot of action, and you'd think he'd be exhausted by the end, but I found that it found struck a really great balance between serious and not so serious. And I thought the world building was good in like a sense that I had no idea what was going on. But I'm like, this is world building. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. I'm gonna give it an eight out nice. of ten. That's like bam, more than seven. 
Yeah, yeah. it's also more than seven. <laughs> but less eight. than nine. I'll send you. I'll send you the proof. <laughs> okay, later. I'm waiting. <laughs> wow! Wow. Um. So. Uh. So John Wick three, the Portobello, the Popolano. Uh. Papa I, I had a lot of fun with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, my five words for this movie, uh, I'm going to stretch something here, but oh my five words are guns, a lot of guns, right? Close, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, I mean. Anybody? No. <laughs> it's close enough. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to take it. <laughs> um, so uh, this movie was so much fun, fast paced. It had, it, it almost never let up. Almost, almost to a fault, but then it gives you a breath of fresh air. It also has some comic levity, more so towards the end, but, uh, enough so that it, like, pulls you back for a brief moment and lets you, like, kind of, like, see at this from a more, like, like, outsider looking in perspective. I don't know. Every, everything that they did right, it, it was good. I like this movie a lot. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to give this movie an 8 out of 10 as well, because this movie nailed pretty much all of my expectations. I wasn't disappointed at all. I'm glad that I got a free screening to this movie, because it was really good. Let's <laughs> rub it, rub it in, man. I, uh, Damn. Yeah, why don't you go yeah. play hide and go fuck <laughs> yourself, Avery? <laughs> <laughs> I would have paid to see this movie. How about that? Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. I would have paid. <laughs> would take it that far. Would have paid had I been in such a low, st- low position to in do so. Such a yikes I were situation. A commoner. <laughs> but no, I received the free ticket. <laughs> well, uh, uh, yes. so I yeah, agree with great movie. Assessment. Go see it. Yeah. Highly recommend Fuck it. Yeah. Seriously, a lot of fun. Dab. It's gonna be. You're probably. You've probably already seen it, right? right? Dab yeah. again. Yeah. 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 Did Third. you dab? <sighs> like, oh. like the. Dip- I did. Oh, no, times. dude. That's it's terrible. Dude. <laughs> I know. I do it for oh, bad luck. Okay. Well, it's, <laughs> oh, it's oh, certainly no. working. <laughs> this is crashing fast. Yeah, cool. is it? Guys, I'm not doing yeah, so I mean, the great. way. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Spencer, before before we get out of here, uh, Ash and I, we, we like to post put all of our social media stuff. We're at For the Story at Pod. Oh, pod, God. What, what are we? Ash, Ash, just say it. Just do the thing. All right. For the Story Podcast on Instagram, For the Story on Facebook, For the Story Podcast at gmail.com uh, on email. Uh, our address is at Avery. <laughs> email. <laughs> what's, your, uh, what's your address? Are you, are you, are you, uh, are you trying to dox <laughs> Avery right now, dude? <laughs> yeah, I heard he threw a milkshake at a guy. Uh, Spencer, what, <laughs> what about Spencer, you? what's your address? <laughs> yeah. Greg, what's your address? <laughs> he, he's, is Craig like our unofficial he, guest he, on this episode? Because that's he is, yeah. Craig's a, a voyeur. He's covered in grease right now. Yeah, he just said "fuck you." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can you he hear us? Can. He can put on headphones if he wants. Oh god. Oh, so he can hear us technically, but he, well, he hasn't he, heard us. Yeah. He can't. Is that what you mean by that? Now, but like he was the, editing other stuff for most of the time. Hmm. No, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Um, well, anyway, um, Spencer, is there anything you want to plug before we get totally out of here? Yeah. I mean, um, the end of the check episode. out uh, Idiots Let's Discuss the Universe. You can find us on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, you can just Google Idiots Discuss the Universe, and we will be the thing that pops up. We got all sorts of shit out. We were releasing episodes all the time at a breakneck speed. Um, some would say like a kind of manic, insane sort of speed. <laughs> um, but no, it's good. We've got a shit ton of content. Um, yeah. And by the way, stop putting out like ten minute cock tease episodes. You absolute what? Dullard. No, we're gonna keep doing exactly. <laughs> we're gonna t- we're gonna keep putting out exactly what we want. You trite, insalubrious boob. God, you guys are like the same person. I get like hear it and like yeah, the way no, you we've, say things and like we've your spent delivery of way jokes. Way too much time together in the past. Oh, yeah. I could tell. It was funny. Like I noticed it the first yeah. time I met you, Spencer. I was just like, God damn, he's exactly oh, like sh- Asher. Jesus Christ, dude. I didn't. It was like it's two of you guys. Yeah. He's like the less handsome, less funny, generally less charming. No, I'm like I'm like a more I'm like a more palatable, like less. <laughs> I'm like a, I'm like, at, 
God, it's the same joke. Asher, Asher is like a um, like more Jewish um, in a in a bad in a bad way. Keep describing each other. More Jewish in a bad way, um, and, and I can you say again. that because. Because I have it. <laughs> because he's <laughs> because good. You have a friend who's Jewish, Jewish. And it's Asher. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, so. <laughs> All right. Listen to yeah. Idiots Discuss the Universe. Uh, they have a friend Jewish. who's Jewish. <laughs> who's also on our show. Um, it's on it's on not anti Semitism if, <laughs> if, you're, if you're also. If, yeah, well, that's was, Greg, yeah. isn't it? I hear him. <laughs> Just absolutely howling. It's not anti-Semitism. If um, you have a friend who's Jewish, <laughs> who's a shitty, shitty <laughs> Jew- guy. guy. No, no, it's good. It's good. Um, wow. If wow. you, it's if you want to listen Jewish. to a podcast Beautiful. that has like, you know, like the Whole Foods version of Asher, you know, like the, your... Your your farm <laughs> farm grass fed, you, mean like, you know, like, like all you, American farm, farm to, to table, table version of Asher instead of this like fast food sort of like it fills you up for now, you know, but you're gonna be having diarrhea pretty quick, you know. So that okay. yeah, listen to uh, idiots discuss the universe. All right, guys. <laughs> when, 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 that note, when does your album? We're gonna let you guys. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Say that before uh, the we go. This album comes out June twenty first, and all of the singles are up on Spotify and iTunes and wherever you listen to music. Mm-hmm. And so follow us and check it out. Where can we? You pre-order? can pre order oh. the album. Thanks for asking. Oh. At Bandcamp, the Odious. Uh, yeah, just search the Google the Odious, and we have a Bandcamp page, um, and we have a bunch of sweet, nifty merch up there too. And uh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, the shirts are tight. I'm how do you how do you spell t- the odious? T H E. It's it means yeah, smelly. It means it means the smelly. <laughs> I did, um, that's not what I asked. <laughs> it's T H E space O D I O U S. It's like it's like French. Excellent, but but not. Yeah, it means um the the one with the Jewish friend. <laughs> wow, the, the one I'm who can say that. thinking, <laughs> and the one who can say that they have. No, a I'm just friend. as Jewish wow. as Asher. That's incredible, so. beautiful. Yeah, by that he means. Yeah, we're, we're both, both mudbloods. Yeah, but we both went bald. Yeah, down. it scarred us. So that's. Yeah, because it's yeah. the same person. <laughs> All right. On that note, um, guys, thank you so much for listening to for the story podcast. We love you so much. We will talk to you all next week. Uh, we're watching either Brightburn or Aladdin. We're not sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing one or the other. But uh, yeah, we love you all so much. Goodbye. Uh, Papa Piss plucked plenty of pancakes out of my pink Such pussy. A sick fuck, dude. God, <laughs> you need to stop with that shit. Okay. Okay. Dude, yeah, that was so fun. Thank you, guys. Yeah.